And President William Ruto has defended the finance, financial bill in the latest budget, saying that it will help to reduce the high cost of commodities, as our reporter Berila Kenyan now reports. Barely a week after the National Assembly passed the Finance Bill 2023, which was overwhelmed by the ruling coalition MPs, President William Ruto says his budget intends to tackle the cost of living. Ruto, who took his time to dissect the budget, says his administration aims to lower the high cost of commodities by enhancing production. Tumefajili wakulima wote milioni itano. Na mwaka huu tumewapatia mbolea kila mkulima kiasi ya ile alikuwa na itachi. Tumeweka pia katika budget yetu ya mwaka huu hiyo ambayo kwa bunge wamepitisha pesa ingine ya kuhakikisha kwamba tunaongeza mambo ya mbegu na mbolea kwa wakulima wetu mwaka unaokuja. Katika budget hii for the first time we have the largest budget in matters of life. As the debate on the latest budget bill rages on, critics have continued to slam President Ruto's defense on the high tax. Many argue that the financial bill is unfairly burdening the lower and the middle earners with excessively high taxes, while only a few wealthy individuals benefit. <laughs> And the president wrote in the year of the year, he bottom up. At the bottom up, at the bottom up, at the bottom up, at After the finance bill was passed, Criticism continue to pile up against the President Ruto defense of high taxes in the latest budget. Critics argue that the new budget allocation and tax policies are not benefiting the general public and are instead placing an excessive financial burden on lower and middle earners. Berila Kinyi, Tandao News Outlook.